Hey, this is YBR back with Jalopy, and today we're gonna make some money, hopefully. You know, that's if everything goes according to plan, we will have like another hundred dollars or so in our pocket. Cause we got some goodies in here we're gonna be selling. We got four tires in the car, so we got two on top and then two in the trunk. That's 80 bucks right there. Then we got some more things kind of thrown about that'll give us some money. Although apparently the textiles are worth absolutely nothing. That's kind of frustrating, I guess, because I went home. It makes them lose their value, which sucks, so don't need these anymore. We'll just go ahead and drop them on the floor. Grab all six of them, try to make them in a nice stack because I can. I think right there should be perfectly stacked. Oh, that's perfect. And while we're here, we might as well throw some of this stuff into the car to sell it. So how about that decal remover is worth 10. That's pretty good. Car jack is worth 10. And fuel can is worth 10. I don't think we'll be able to fit all of them, but I should be able to fit at least two, I would think. So let's see, can we do these two? Yeah, that'll work. Can't fit the fuel can though. And I don't think we have any room upstairs. No, upstairs is done as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here. Oh no, I broke my pile. Anyways, uncle, it is time to go on a journey. So get your butt into this car right now. Hurry, 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 uncle, go, go, go. And I'm gonna grab the key so you can't tell me what to do. And I'm gonna tell me where we're going so you can't tell me what to do because I am in control of this journey, uncle. So I wanna do a route with a gas station on it because I wanna be able to sell all my stuff as soon as possible. That way if there's stuff on the side of the road, I could still pick it up. So there we go. Close the book and start the car up and let's see how long is it gonna, ooh. That was a pretty good start right there. It started right up. That's kind of unusual. Sad to say, but that really is unusual. And so begins our journey, uncle. We're gonna head towards Dresden, okay? And I'm gonna get a good feel for how this car drives. Ah, see? I remember what he says vaguely. Like I remember the first couple of sentences and that's about it. The other details I don't remember, so I'll probably just read them aloud for my own entertainment. And then you'll be like, YBR, you read these 10 videos ago, but 10 videos ago was like a year ago. You know, with the frequency that I make videos, that's probably pretty correct, actually, which is sad. We'll fix that someday. 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 Just not now! And once again, I'm still using the keyboard for this game because every time I play it, I forget. Good news is this game really isn't that bad to play with the keyboard. Like, there are some games with cars, like, awful. So, you know, it's really not that bad. That's why I don't bother to fix it. We're up to about 80 kilometers per hour and I'm not paying any attention for boxes because as far as I know, no boxes appear until you get past the tank, which I see right out in the distance. So we are almost past it. And then I got to keep my eyes out for any packages on the side of the road. There might've been some right there actually. That's a good possible spot, but I ain't seen nothing. All right, try to stay on the road. Nice and clean, nice and clean. Nice. I was actually really happy with that driving right there. Got to slow it down a little bit right here though because it's a tight corner. Any boxes, any boxes, nothing. That's gonna be me the whole drive, is I'm just gonna be staring over here looking for any sort of package. Also, maybe over there. And not where I'm driving at all. So, as you know, it's a curious feeling being on the road again after such a long time. It is. We haven't been on the road since like last video, which was like weeks ago, Uncle. You know, all those years. Yeah, years, Uncle, man. You got some memory problems. It was weeks, man. It's okay, Uncle. I forgive you. Is that my car? Or is that like somebody behind me? Oh, I can't tell because I left my trunk open. I think there's somebody behind me, but I don't know which lane they're in. Logically, if they're trying to pass me though, they should go into the left lane, so I'll make sure I stay in the right lane. That is a very logical thing to do, isn't it? Yes. Is it actually working? I don't know. Like, I swear I hear an engine that is not mine. And it's driving me crazy. Oh, I should go back into the slow lane. I know I wasn't born there, but I'm belonging. I've experienced any other time in my life. Okay, what's going on here? Hold up, I'll, I'm gonna stop this car, Uncle. Why do I hear a car's engine? There is some dude following me! Oh, now they're just hitting me, okay. Yep, okay. Stop! Stop! That was driving me crazy, though. I, like, I know there's somebody behind me, but I can't see them. See, this guy actually went around me. Purely by coincidence, because as far as I know, it's just the AI doesn't drive off to the side roads. I'm sorry, Uncle, you were saying? He, he's not gonna resume. I was too, I was too annoyed. I had to figure that out. Now I can see behind me, you know, if I hear a car, just look and I say, oh yeah, there is a car there. Look at us sputtering up the hill, full speed ahead. This poor little car is struggling with its half cylinder engine. I swear, that's what it must be to be this slow. Come on. Where the gas station at? Really, where is the gas station? Uh, uncle, am I going the right way? <laughs> hate when I feel like I'm going the wrong way. What do those signs say? Oh, yes. 
gibberish to the left, and then gibberish to the right. I think we'll go to the gibberish to the right, because <laughs> gibberish to the left is a no-go. Awesome, that's the gas station. We made it. And we're gonna sell off all kinds of stuff and make some money. You ready to get rich, uncle? We are gonna have stacks of money. We're coming in hot and stop. That was perfect stop. I'm gonna shut the car so I don't waste any gas. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. So we'll start off with the most valuable things, which is gonna be the tires. These three things will give us $60. Assuming they have enough money to pay out all of my stuff, because that is a thing now in the game where they're like, oh, we can't give you all the money, sorry. And you just, you get angry at them, like, well, I got all this stuff and I don't need it anymore, so just take it. And I think that's everything I want to sell. I could sell a repair kit or two, I guess? But let's see what they do with all of this, because that's about a, oh. Alright, so that's all of the money that they can give me. That's not bad, that's 80 bucks. It's getting me closer to my upgrades. We're going to have like 200 and... $30, I think. Let's grab my wallet. Uncle, I need this. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's going to give us about $230. So, decent amount of money. Throw that thing back into the car. Hey, no, throw it into the car. There we go. I couldn't do it because they were yelling at me. Close the trunk, which is very important. Close the uncle in so he doesn't get hurt. And we're going to be back on the road to go to our destination. All right, got to back out of here carefully. Carefully and slowly. Oh, I just hit the curb twice or something. I don't know what exactly happened. Stop. Rotate. And full speed ahead. Oof. Oof. What are you oofing at? Like, I felt like I drove that perfectly. Yes, I'm on the grass a little bit, but it's perfectly flat grass. And I drive this thing in the mud half the time. I don't think a little bit of grass is going to do it any harm. Apparently, Uncle, though, he's like, oof, that grass hurts. Look, Uncle, I'm cutting the grass again. Oh, my God. He really said something about that. Uncle, you need to chill. You need to chill. Look at the wallet. Look at all this money. You see that? Didn't that make you happy? Chill. Also, now you can't see as good, which makes me happy. What's over here? Go check it out. I think it's just going to be a dead end, but I got to make sure. The bad news is, though, is when Uncle's saying oof a lot, that means the car is getting damaged a lot. So we're definitely going to be having to do some repairs on it soon. It uh, looks like we basically have go straight to dead end or go left to go back the way we came, which I don't want to do. So let's try to make a little loop right here as uncle goes, oh, mercy. Shush, uncle, I'm fine. Wait, actually, where does this one go? They both go in the same spot because it's split. So it's like, ah, oh, I think they go both. Wait, wait, yes. This is not the way I'm supposed to go, but at least we're going in the right direction. Ha <laughs> ha We're going the wrong way on the road for extra fun now. Which means, any boxes on the side of the road, though, I'm not going to be able to pick up, because I would assume they would only be on the right side, unknowingly. Why does it look like that dude crashed? Oh, because there's like a rotation in the road right there. Okay. I like how chill Uncle is with me driving along the side of the road. He's just like, oh, I'm going to talk about the wall some more. You know, the walls, uh, they took it down a little separation for people. What was it been, 29 years? Oh my goodness, there's actually boxes on this side of the road. Hold up, Uncle, shut up. I gotta stop the car to grab the box. I'm gonna see what's inside. That one needs a crowbar. Gotta sneak that thing in. Pop it. One thing I did not really think about. Textiles were... Wow. Uh, is that all the things I sold were the tires, so I can't actually put anything there except for tires. So, like, I don't know how many of these textiles I'll be able to take with their such huge values. I mean, look at this. All these textiles right here, that's going to be worth like a whole dollar. Except, you know, for all the gas I use transporting these useless things. Thankfully, I don't think the game actually simulates that. Doesn't matter how much junk you got, it just uses X amount of gas no matter what. Rough! And we're already up to 30 kilometers per hour, and then that's pretty much where the car starts to putter out. And now we're like 40, and dropping because there's a hill. Probably should repair it. Oh my goodness, it's really dying right here. Hey, look, there's a little hole in the road right there. You can see through it. Oh, that's bad. Like, I hear cars coming at me, and I'm not even looking in the direction that they are, and I'm just hoping they're not going to hit me. Very, very risky there. Apparently, all the cars are in the slow lane. They're treating it like it's a two-lane road right here. You know, one lane going one way, one lane going the other way. See, I always mess that up. I don't know why, but I think, oh, this is a two-lane road. So I
We didn't think the division would ever escalate to what it did. But it did, practically overnight. Uncle and his walls. Who taught you about all these walls, Uncle? That's all you could talk about. Walls, walls, walls. Let's talk about boxes of stuff sitting on the side of the road that we could sell for money. Meaning of that, Uncle? He's still angry. He's angry about me cutting the curbs. And going in the grass and stuff. He's just... He's oofed out and angry. I always want to try to, like, jump that barrier right there with some of this grass. But I know almost certainly that'll go terribly, terribly wrong. So all I can do is keep driving on the wrong side of the road until we get to the destination. Which should be soon because I see a roundabout up here. And I think we should go stupid. So there's Dresden ahead. And here we go! Yeah, that was anticlimactic. Anyways, there's Dresden ahead. Let's head to the motel. No, we're not going to stay at the motel, Uncle. We're not staying at the motel. We're going to sell the textiles and the junk in the trunk. And we're going to go back home until we got money. Then we're going to upgrade this thing to make it a race car. That's our plan, Uncle. It's a little cheating, but I don't really know of a better way to get money. Because there's absolutely no reason for us to stay at the hotel. Because we're not going to the destination, actually, you know? So it's going to find... The store that I want, because the one we drove up to, that's for car parts. I don't have the money for that yet. Well, I say I don't have the money for that yet, but I might. I'll have to look into that later. First, though, we'll sell what we got, because that'll get us to about 300. Well, close to 300. And that's about what you want to really start buying things, I think. Getting this thing fully upgraded for maximum speed. Okay, where is the stinking shop? There it is. It's just really foggy. Coming in hot! Stop it. And then let's pop out, and we'll get all the stuff in the trunk, and we'll sell it. So that's all these textiles. Let me grab one of these things and shove all the... Oops. What? Why can't I... I only have two things in my hand. I could grab three. Oh, I was grabbing the inside of the basket. That's probably why. And I was trying to put that box into there. I was just misclicking a little bit. All right. All the textiles into there. It's amazing. This whole thing of textiles is going to be worth basically nothing. Yet, the things I brought from home that I stole from Uncle, those will be worth 10 each. Way more valuable. How many can we fit? Can we fit them all? Yes, we can. Awesome. So we're also going to sell the extra car jack. We'll sell the fuel can. And we'll sell this box. Close the door. So that's 30 in my hands. And then like a dollar in the box. Kind of dumb that to walk around right there. I'm not going to fix up the car or anything. I'm going to abuse the game and just do the stuff at home. Because I want me my upgrades. Okay, they don't buy decal kits. Or decal removers, I mean. Fine. You know what? I didn't want to sell you the decal remover anyways. I'm going to just leave it on the floor and just and grumble and complain and stuff. Since we're going back home, though, I'm going to get another jack anyway. So we could just take it and sell it. I don't care. And these repair kits? Same deal. We're going to go back home anyways. And we can abuse the ones that are free. We're going to sell them all. Now listen to this. That was some pretty nice beeping. But as I was saying, we're gonna sell everything on the car, even the repair kits up top, which I'm pretty sure I purchased with real money because I am desperate for money and I don't care now. Let's see, this stuff is worth two and one. That I actually wanna keep and that I actually wanna keep. So this will be the last thing we sell, although I have to still run back to grab my wallet. Hopefully they don't say, oh, well, we're out of money, so we can't buy that. It's only 50 bucks. I'm sure they have that much money. They got a pile of stuff, though. All right, anyways. Let's go into the car, and we're going to say, Uncle, give me the wallet, please. Thank you very much. And it'll put us at about 280 bucks. That's not too bad. It's hoping for a little bit more, but it'll do. 286. So now, what we're going to do, we're going to hit escape, and we're going to say, let's just return home. Fix up the car. It'll be ready to go for the next journey. To fix it up, I'm just going to grab the repair kit and go wrench, wrench, wrench on everything, and it'll be nice and good to go. And I'm also going to load up the car with a lot of goodies to sell, but I'm going to try not to abuse the system too badly, because I could just go and completely cheap the game by basically taking all of Uncle's stuff and selling it, but that feels a little bit too cheap. I'm going to take some of the stuff, like the tires... But that'll be it, because I want the rest of my money to come from things I find on the side of the road, because that feels like the legitimate way of getting money in this game, which sounds like 
a really weird statement because it's yeah how is the legitimate way to get money finding things on the side of the road and selling them to gas stations i don't know but it is so i think this engine is pretty much fully fixed up we could do a little bit more on the ignition coil though so we'll go one more time back home and yes this is technically abusing uncle's niceness to give me the free repair kits and stuff but just imagine instead of me using free repair kits i spent hours upon hours at my house working on the car which is free in real life so it's free here yeah that totally makes sense for me that's my uh my way of making this not feel like cheating you know it really doesn't matter though because in the end it's just saving a little bit of time because money is time in this game because the more you drive you're gonna keep making money especially if you're doing what i do here which is you go to the town and then you come back and that's kind of interesting right there the toolkit's still worth five even though it's all dirty and half used up although i don't think it's worth it to like use half of it and then return it and try to get money back because you would still end up losing money Anyways, that'll do it for this video. Till next time, it's YBR. I'll see ya.